at the game against uh, Dynamo Minsk, uh, if you play, uh, you made 100 uh, European appearances. What do you remember from uh, your first game as a player of uh, Rapid Bucharest? Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't remember uh, a lot of things. Uh, I. Uh, I think it was. Uh, it was a game uh, against a Scandinavian uh, team. I don't. Uh, I don't remember well, but. Uh, uh, Anyway, it passed, uh, it passed a lot of uh, a lot of years from uh, from that time. So uh, uh, I think the most important thing is uh, is the present, and uh, I'm happy to to arrive uh, that I arrived at uh, at this number. Uh, from this game, from this day, uh, they have passed uh, 12 years. How has uh, Razvan Rat changed as a player in this period of time? Uh, I don't know. I uh, I think um, uh, I had much more experience. This is the most uh, the most important thing, uh, and it's a lot of uh, there are a lot of games that I uh, uh, that I made uh, I made mistakes, and uh, I suppose I think that uh, I uh, uh, from from every game uh, that I played I uh, I learned something. And I was trying to learn uh, as much as I can, and to don't uh, don't make uh, the same mistakes as I as I did. Are you still learning? Yes, <laughs> I'm always learning. Even uh, even if you uh, are, uh, let's say, experienced player, like uh, if you have uh, 35, 37, 37 years, and you are still playing, I think uh, you are uh, you can always learn, uh, even from uh, from a player that is much more younger than you. Which player was your role model? Rangix. And uh, you're one of the players that have the honor to win the Europa, uh, Europa League. What is the sentiment holding the trophy in your hands? Uh, this is a feeling that I cannot uh, tell you in a words. It's just uh, um, you are. You think that you are the the happiest uh, the happiest uh, man and the happiest player, uh, but uh, it uh, my dream was also to uh, to play in a final of uh, of Champions League. We uh, I didn't uh, I didn't achieve that uh, that dream and I didn't. Uh, I didn't play in a, in a final of Champions League. It's true that I was uh, I was playing in a quarter final, but uh, uh, that uh, was uh, and it's still not enough for me. I uh, I wanted to uh, to play in a final of Champions League. You never know. Even uh, even now, I didn't. Uh, uh, I think about that. Which game besides the final you would never forget, and why? Uh, I think there are a lot of games uh, when uh, when we played uh, when I was playing in, uh, in Shakhtar. I was playing a lot of games and a lot of times in uh, in Champions League uh, more than I, I think that I was playing in Europa League. But uh, uh, I still remember a game against uh, Salzburg when uh, uh, in a, in the first uh, in the first round uh, we were uh, we were losing uh, away and we we were needed uh, uh, at home to win at uh, at two goals difference so uh, uh, it was 1-0 uh, for us uh, they scored uh, they scored for 1-1 uh, and we we still uh, we were needed uh, two goals uh, and uh, we scored for 2-1 and in the last uh, let's say i think 5 minutes uh, i was uh, i was crossing for uh, for brandao and uh, uh, we scored the third goal and uh, it we pass uh, we pass further so uh, it uh, it was uh, one of the uh, the hardest games in, uh, that i had in, uh, in europa league so i i remember and i, I remember because i, I had an assist and the, uh, the final goal Rapid Bucharest, Shakhtar Donetsk and now Pauk. Which are your personal goals and how far do you believe that the team can go in this competition? Uh, my goals are, are always high and uh, I hope that, uh, that the team can, uh, can pass the, at least uh, pass the groups at, uh, on this year. 
it's uh, it's very important for me to uh, uh, to play uh, to play in Europe and to play uh, as uh, as much as I can in to to finish at uh, um, at the at the highest level. So uh, 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 for the moment uh, we are uh, we are a team that uh, is a new team and uh, uh, is a lot of uh, a lot of players that are uh, that are new. Uh, including me, but uh, including the including the coach. So uh, we will try to do to do our best to uh, to make uh, to make good results. To to have a, um, to be happy uh, after every game and to uh, to perform good. After five official games, uh, which uh, do you believe is the main characteristic of the style of play of Pauk? Uh, after the results, uh, as, as you see, the, the results we we didn't uh, concede too much, uh, too many goals. So uh, uh, from this point of view, we are uh, we are strong in defense. But uh, in the same uh, uh, in the same time, we we scored a lot of goals, and uh, uh, also we are uh, we are a good team in uh, in offensive. But uh, Let's uh, let's wait the what what means uh, Europa League and uh, uh, we will see what's happening there. We again, I will repeat that uh, I hope to uh, to have a good performance in uh, in this competition because it's important for us. It's important for uh, for the fans and uh, uh, when you when you are playing uh, uh, in one of the two uh, uh, competitions, you are. Uh, Let's say you are alive. You are a, you are a football player that uh, everybody know. Now it's the first game of the group stage against Dynamo Minsk. Uh, what do you know for the opponent, and what do you believe Pauk must uh, be careful of? Uh, the analysis is uh, it matters, but in uh, again they are not uh, small teams. Even uh, if uh, the name of Dynamo Minsk doesn't uh, doesn't say too much, uh, uh, that doesn't mean that uh, we are. Uh, we are a favorite, and uh, we are favorites just uh, theoretically. But uh, at the, in the field, you must show that on the field, and uh, you must to, to be better to, to win. You come back at the European competitions after one year of absence. What, this, what does this game mean to you? Uh, first of all, I must to, to thank uh, Pauk because, uh, and that's why I was uh, choosing Pauk to. Because uh, it's a team that uh, is giving me the uh, the possibility to uh, to play again in Europe. This is what uh, uh, I did for uh, for uh, so many years in uh, in Shakhtar and also before in Rapid. So uh, is a uh, Europe is uh, uh, Champions League or Europa League is uh, it was like uh, my home, let's say, and uh, I'm I'm very happy to to come back in uh, in Europe. Okay, and let's make a Europe Park quiz. Okay. With whom uh, teammate have you played against in the UEFA Cup final? Uh, it's uh, Tiolis, and I was uh, speaking with uh, with him about uh, about the, uh, this thing that uh, he uh, he was in uh, in Werder Bremen when we uh, when I was uh, winning the UEFA Cup. Who is the third most capped player in the Europa League uh, competition history? Oh. This I don't know. Dimitris Albigidis. Ah, okay. <laughs> How many consecutive uh, qualifications to the 32 of the uh, competition uh, counts, Pauk? Two or three. Three. Against which team uh, our technical director, this is Riza, scored a goal of qualification, a historical goal? Uh. Back in 97. This is hard for me to uh, to remember. Uh, I heard some stories about that, but I, I still don't remember the the team. Arsenal. Arsenal. Okay. And which was the coach then? Mr. Anastasia. Ah yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I, ah, yes, this I heard. Yeah, this I heard.